cannot ser desobedientes. And we know that we cannot be disobedient. No, Pedro no dijo, no, ¿por qué me lavan los pies? No quiero, no. He didn't say, I don't want to. Why are you washing my feet? No. Él no quiere. Pedro estaba preguntando, ¿por qué me lavan los pies? Peter was asking, why are you washing my feet? Jesus didn't say why he wasn't washing his feet. He said, you're going to understand it after I wash your feet. And also, Sabemos que Jesús son, tiene lavar los pies para, para que nosotros ten, también tenemos un corazón limpio, para que sus discípulos tengan un corazón limpio. Jesus also wants to wash our feet so we have a clean heart. His disciples also have a clean heart. No queremos un corazón sucio. We don't want a dirty heart. Porque si tenemos un corazón sucio, because if we have a dirty heart, vamos a ir al infierno. We're going to go to hell. You can say, no, I don't want to obey the word of God, but you have to obey it. If you do not obey it, you can go to hell. Not only do you have to obey God, also your parents and everyone. If you don't obey your parents, you're also going to go to hell. Everything the devil puts in your heart, don't do it because you can go to hell. And everything the demon says a lie. And everything that God says is true. Because God has never lied. He came here to forgive all of our sins. And to deliver. So we have to worship God because he's the one who died for us. He's the one who delivered. He's the one who healed. So brothers, you must always pray. You must tell your children, let's go pray because it's important to pray. Jesus promete que le va a sanar, que le va a pedir. Usted si si le dice algo con todo su corazón, él lo va a prometer. If you tell him something with all of your heart, he's going to do it. Entonces usted no vaya como no 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 voy a obedecer no. Usted tiene que obedecer. So don't be like, no, no, I'm not going to obey, but you must obey. Dios hijos because God wants children who are obedient. Que sea, que Dios. Who serve God. Que lo and worship Him. Que un and have a cleansed heart. Entonces, um, usted so you must obey everybody who's beside you but not hell. Because he wants to destroy your heart. And have for you to have a dirty heart. So you. When the devil puts things inside of your heart. Say no because Christ is in me. And now go to John 3, 16.
That's for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God sent his only son to heal so everybody can have a clean heart and not a dirty heart. He went to die on the cross for our sins. And he some people thought that he was still dead. But we know that no, he's not dead. They may think he's dead because he will be healed in our hearts. He got up from the tomb. And he would make miracles and they would ask him if you heal other people, why don't you heal yourself? He couldn't because it was his time to go with his father. And when they went to sin, he was not disobedient like Jonah. And Jonah said, I'm not going to go to Nineveh, and he went somewhere far, and the Lord punished him. If Jesus Christ tells you something, do it. Don't say no, no, I don't want to do it, but you have to do it. The Lord is going to punish you. And he's going to tell you again, and if you don't obey, you can go to hell. So we have to obey God because we have to be able to be able to change. And he also healed. And people would tell him when he was going to die, why don't you save yourself? And he came to this world to heal and to put every heart clean. He didn't want the dirty heart. The one who wanted the dirty heart was the devil. The devil only wants to destroy your heart. But Jesus does not want to destroy your heart, but wants you to have a clean heart so you go to heaven. The devil wants the crown. And he wants all the people. But all people must be of God. Entonces, usted tiene que obedecerle a Dios y 
So you must obey God. If God tells you something, you're going to hide somewhere far, no. Because he can see you, he has all the whole world in his hands. He can punish you. He can send a storm. So you have to obey him and pray always when you're going to go to sleep. And obey everybody but not the devil and the people who are bad. And if you want to obey what's bad in the devil, then no, because he wants to destroy you. Christ wants to break the chains. And he breaks the chains. He makes promises. And he does not fail to what he promises. Because God His Father sent Him to heal the whole world and to break all the chains. And for us and that's why we have to worship Him. He would heal those who were sick. He would do a lot of miracles. He would make all types of promises. He would punish those who did not want to obey him. So when it's at the end of the world and he comes, you're going to go with him. <laughs> and the ones who are in church in the life are going to go after. So we have to worship God. And go to Philippians 4.13. And say amen when you have it. You read it out in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So when you're going to do something, don't say, no, no, I can't do it because you can do it because Christ will give you the strength. He is one who created you and delivered you. The devil is not the one who is going to give you the strength nor forgive you, but God is the one who is going to give you the strength and forgive you. He 
He's the one who made the sun and the moon and the animals and what? That's why we should worship him. And when you go to him, you may not see him, but you can feel him in your heart. So we must be obedient to God and his word. Because if we're not obedient to his word, we're going to go to hell. So we must be fearful. And we must be ready to go with Jesus. We must not be ready to go with the devil because if we go with the devil, he's going to kill you. So you have to go to God and ask for forgiveness for all your sins and get baptized. So you so you can get baptized and wash your feet. And go to God and ask for forgiveness. And say, forgive me, Lord. He's not going to say, no, I'm not going to forgive you because you did something wrong, but he's going to forgive you. The one that's going to do that is the devil. He's never going to forgive you. Lo 
He can see everything that we do, and even if we hide, he can still see it. Él solo quería libertad, sanar. He delivers and heals. Y darle la fuerza a todos. Él le da la fuerza a todos los que creen en él. He gives the strength to all those who believe in him. Y todo lo que creen en él, no se pierda más en la vida de él. Usted no tiene que ir a ninguna cosa a su lado de la mamá. Usted no tiene que ir a usted que me pide de él, usted no se pierda. Y si usted no quiere vida de él, vaya a Dios y le bautícese y dile, dame vida de él. Entonces, cuando lo bautizaron, sabían que él era el Mesías. Lo querían sacrificar. Y lo querían we wanted to see if he was the true God. Because they didn't have a cleansed heart and they did not serve God. So we must worship him because he gives us the strength and he gave us our parents. He is the one who gave us a church. The most important thing is to pray and preach. God is with you in all places if you're scared. Dios está contigo, Polo. Tú no lo puedes, tú no lo puedes ver o sentir. Tú lo puedes sentir en tu corazón. God is with you. You cannot see him, but you can feel him in your heart. Entonces, el es Cristo. So Christ. He holds the whole world. And he sees who is behaving wrong. And he sends babies to the mother's wounds and angels. A veces manda ángeles in sueños que le dice que hacen cosas and he sends angels and dreams and tells them things to do not fear because Christ is with your brothers because when God sends a light and you see a light in a dream and he says do not fear you know that it's God speaking to you what he says he does it he doesn't say no because he's never sinned. El pecado um, quiere el diablo. Por Jesús no quiere ningún pecado. The devil is wanted by the de the the sin is wanted by the devil, but Jesus doesn't want no sin. Él él es como nuestro salvador, nuestro pastor. Nosotros somos las ovejas. He is our savior and our pastor, and we are his sheep. Entonces. Tiene que estar preparado 
listo para ir con Dios. So you must be ready and prepared to go with God. Entonces, hasta aquí llegó mi tiempo. Sí.